Hello everybody and welcome to Willa Dean's Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to prepare some collard greens. So what I have here is a nice bunch of collard greens that I just purchased at the market. And as you can see they're very large green leafy uh, vegetables. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to clean these up. I always wash my greens uh, because you just never know uh, what might be a sand or whatever might have got trapped in there. We're going to get these stems out of the greens. I don't use cook the stems. Some people do, but I don't. And we're going to get them cut up and prepared for the pot. So we have our greens here. And we also have to go with this dish is our smoked meat. So I have some ham hock here. This is ham hock and I have a smoked neck bone as well. I have a, it's about a quarter of an onion. This is a pretty large onion here. So I got a quarter of an onion. I'm going to chop that onion up of course. And I have a sprig of thyme here. And this is going to go in the pot as well. And we also have an assortment of dry spices here that I have. So we have in this cup here, we have some garlic powder, some black pepper, some smoked sea salt, and some paprika. Now there's a quarter teaspoon of each um, in this bowl right here. Uh, the sea salt is actually brown, so you may not see it doesn't look like regular salt. So it comes from the salt company, San Francisco Salt Company's very good sea salt. The flavor is, is intense on that sea salt. So, um, and we also have a teaspoon of sugar uh, to go in the greens as well. And then lastly but not least, we have two tablespoons of vinegar. So now uh, to add some acid to the greens and bring out a little bit more flavor that's why we add the vinegar. So I'm going to get the greens chopped and ready for the pot and then we'll start cooking. Okay, so we have washed the greens, removed the stems, cut them up. And actually I washed them once again after I got them cut up because I still felt like I felt a little sand in there. So now they're, they're very clean, they've been washed twice. And these are the stems that was removed from those greens. So I don't know about most folks, but I, I don't want to eat these. So these are, to me, are, they, they're tough, they take forever to cook, so I just take them out. And now we're going to get our onion chopped and get ready to get these greens in the pot. Okay, folks, so our next step here is uh, to uh, get the uh, greens in the pot. So first thing you do is you're going to add some oil to the pot and our pot is hot and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the onions to the pot. I'm going to let those cook off some. And I have two more ingredients that I didn't list earlier and I'm going to show you those now. We have two bay leaves and two 
red chili. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw these red chilies in here now because the oil will absorb some of the chili flavor and by cooking them off like this, it helps them release their flavor because these are dehydrated chilies so as they cook they will rehydrate. So I got the two chilies and I had the two bay leaves and the reason why I count them is so I don't know to remove two chilies and two bay leaves before I serve the, the green. So we have those in there. Onions have cooked well. What we're going to do now is we're going to add our smoked meat. So we have ham hock. And we have neck bones now. You could also use smoked turkey. Um, you could not put any meat in the, the greens. I know a lot of people prefer not to add meat to their vegetables, so you could do that as well. And then the next thing we're going to add here is this sprig of thyme into the pot. Okay, now that we have the onions cooking and we have the smoked meat in the pot, we're going to add our greens to the pot. So what I'm doing, I'm just reaching into the large bowl that I have, and I'm adding the greens to the pot. And normally greens are, will cook down. So right now, and I can't even get them all in the pot. So what we're going to do is we're going to get them started. And what you do is you add a little bit of water. Here. And they'll soften up and cook down rather quickly. And then what I do is I just go ahead and try to force in the remaining greens. Okay, so now we're going to add our last seasoning ingredients. We have the two bay leaves here. We have the sugar. We have the mixture of dry spices here. And we have our vinegar. See that vinegar there? So we're going to put that in there. And we're going to add a little more water just to kind of wash down some of them spices. And now we're just going to bring this up to a ball, cover it up, and let it cook for about one and a half to two hours until our greens are soft and tender. Okay, everyone, our greens have come up to a boil here. You can see them boiling. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mix this a little bit because we want to get that flavor all through the pot. And uh, we want to make sure all of these greens get some love here. So this is our part of our Sunday meal. And you can see our broth is starting to look good. So we're going to let this cook, and then we'll be back when they're prepared. Probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Okay, everyone, our collard greens have cooked down very good. They, um, they have lots of flavor. We have the smoked meat in here that gives it plenty of flavor, uh, along with the other spices that we uh, added to the dish. Uh, and actually, the peppers, the two uh, red chilies I put in here, gave this... Uh, a nice kick. I mean, I tasted it and it has some heat to it. So it's, it's uh, very tasty, very flavorful. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get this plated up. I took the greens out of the pot um, and I'm going to get these plated up along with some toasted rice aroni. This is that's one of my own recipes and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. We'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we have our plate plated up. We have our collard greens, which was our uh, recipe for today. 
Uh, we also have some fried chicken wings to go along with that. And I have my toasted rice, which is really, it's, a, it's similar to rice aroni. What I do is I put some pasta in the pot, toast it off good, and then I add my rice and seasonings and, and uh, butter to the pot and let it cook. So we have the collard greens here. We have the fried chicken. And you have my version of the San Francisco treat, rice aroni. Uh, this is a good meal. Uh, you could, you know, add some iced tea to this, maybe a piece of cornbread um, or whatever your favorite drink may be um, and enjoy a meal. So uh, I want to thank everyone for viewing. I hope you enjoy my recipe. I hope you try these collard greens. If not now, at least on New Year's Day, uh, to bring you some uh, fortune in the next year coming up. So thank you for viewing everyone and have a good day.